often when working with equations of lines in slope-intercept form, we'll end up with some ugly fractions along the way. If this is the case, we'll simply keep in mind our rules for adding, subtracting, and multiplying fractions, and we should be able to handle it just fine. In this problem, we are asked to find the equation of a line through the points 6, negative 2 and negative 4, 1 in slope-intercept form. You'll recall that slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. However, we can't use this form right now, because in order to use it, we must know what the y-intercept is, or the b. We aren't given that in this problem, so we'll have to get there another way. The other way we have is the point-slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. However, before we can use this form in its entirety, we will need to know what the slope is. Fortunately, we have two points we can use to calculate the slope. Using the slope formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We label our points, point 1 and point 2, knowing that they are x, y ordered pairs. We can plug these values into our slope formula. y2 is 1, minus y1, which is negative 2, over x2, which is negative 4, minus x1, which is 6. By adding the opposite, we get 3 over negative 10, or simply negative 3 tenths for our slope. Actually, let me just write that as negative 3 tenths really clearly. There we go. We can now use our slope and either point in order to find the equation of the line. Let's just use the first point. We could use either point. We'll get the same final result. We're now ready to go back to point-slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Plugging in the information we have, y minus y1, which is negative 2, minus negative 2 is the same as adding positive 2, equals m my slope, negative 3 tenths, x, minus x1, which is 6. Oops, forgot my parentheses. Those are very important. We now have an equation of a line that goes through the two points we want. However, it is not in the correct form. Recall, to get in slope-intercept form, we need to clear the parentheses, then isolate the y. To clear the parentheses, we simply distribute through the parentheses. This gives us y plus 2 equals negative 3 tenths x plus 9 fifths. Recall, when multiplying fractions, negative 3 tenths times 6, if we put the 6 over 1, we can reduce 6 and 10 by 2, giving us 5 and 3, and multiplying straight across gives us 9 fifths. Oops, there were two negatives. Negative times a negative is a positive. Finally, to get the y alone, we just have to subtract 2 from both sides. This will give us y equals negative 3 tenths x, minus 1 fifth. Recall, when subtracting fractions, we can get that 1 fifth by taking the 9 fifths, minus the 2. We put the 2 over 1, and before we subtract fractions, we need a common denominator. So we'll multiply the second fraction by 5 over 5. 9 fifths minus 10 fifths is negative 1 fifth. Keeping in mind our rules for fractions, even if the slope and y-intercept come out to weird fractions, we're able to follow the same pattern. Identify the slope, use the point-slope formula, and solve for y to get our final equation that goes through the two points, 6, negative 2, and negative 4, 1.